Hey everyone, uh, back again. Uh, welcome back to the video review. Uh, well, wait, wait. Why are we still here? Shouldn't we be... This area. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see everyone, we are back at my usual review space. Because of obvious reasons that were explained in my update videos. There will be one more, however, that will explain the, a few projects, certain projects such as Diesel Dilemma that will be delayed but not considerably longer than it is at this point. Uh, but it will be coming very soon, I promise. I just, right now there's just certain things I, that are way out of my control and they have to basically, <laughs> you know, anyhow, I won't go into detail in this video, I'll probably talk in the update video. Anyhow, so what we take a look at, well, obviously we took, took we looked at Hotspot from his, you know, the last video, uh, or when he was real, but basically here is his bio card. I don't think I, don't think I showed you this in my um, <laughs> Hotspot review, but this is basically what it is. It looks nothing like the toy. It's just basically a re, the same, uh, it's basically Universe Inferno that was repainted for the G2, the G, the the G.O.D. or the G2O line. Uh, <clears throat> that was the subline for the the original generations line, of course. I'm assuming that's Eject to Rewind that Hotspot's carrying whether he's dead or not, but anyhow. So yeah, that is basically the bio card in a nutshell. Um, oh, before I get afraid. <laughs> Nothing on the back. Sorry. Alright. Going back to the figure. So, do that. Uh, going to defense or I don't have Groove by the way so if you want to see a review of Groove he will be coming um, and I promise he will be added onto the defense or um, once oh defense or will be featured with Groove in his video but basically going to the transformation defense or just ro rotate the legs around like this no <laughs> legs around rotate them like this and then just collapse them like they were in field mode the <clears throat> do the same on the other side here like that Take the arms here and then just basically fold them in on themselves like that. Almost like he's doing a squat. Take the uh, take a hot spot's head, put it stored away. And then basically what you want to do is you just um, well, before we continue, open the combiner ports like this. And then you just want to open the legs like that. And then what you want to do here is fold the legs. Yeah. Yeah, just fold this up. This is going to become the chest piece. Fold the ladder bit down, and then just flip it around his waist, and then break this piece off like that. Fold it down, and then just want to flip the panels open like that, and then take um, or turn the figure around like this. Flip this around, rotate the head around, and that will reveal defense or his head, which is pretty darn cool. Nice little accurate representation of his uh, his appearance at the end of Transformers Devastation and of course his G1 counterpart. Alright, <clears throat> so for the limbs, uh, take, we'll go to Rook first, so we'll obviously turn him into a foot, so just plop, plop the combiner uh, piece like that and obviously flip, <laughs> flip the character peg like that and there you go, there is there's rock complete, um, and then we'll just attach the weapon. For streetwise, similar thing. You just want to unpeg the weapon here like this, and then just flip down the yeah, flip down the arm piece, or arm piece, the front of the car. <laughs> I'm all over the place today, guys. I'm sorry. Um, and then just flip, flip the combiner port like this, and then you just want to flip or yeah, plug in the connector peg without popping anything off. And there, there you go, there is that part complete. There is the legs. For the arms, we'll obviously go to first aid here. Again, pop the weapons off. And basically, you just want to transform them like they were in vehicle mode. Um, or transforming like you were in robot mode, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, and then just get them get them situated like this, make sure they're connected, and then basically what you want to do is you want to flip them up, yeah, uh, separate the arms like that, and you just want to, since this is going to be the um, right arm here, no, yeah, 
it's basically going to be <laughs> whatever arm is available here. So, anyways, okay. So, basically, what we're going to do um, <laughs> get the arms, you know, hold it. Yeah, there. Here we go. Put the the back piece like that, and then just flip the combiner port like so. And then you just want to get it so. There you go. So the arms are facing backwards like that. Just make sure the arms are facing backwards like so. Do the same thing on this side. And well, huh, there you go. There's one arm complete. Well, minus the fact that you gotta get the arm piece connect. Or <laughs> okay, you're starting to be a pain in the butt for some reason. Come on. <sighs> Come on. Oh, I'm going to try and see if his weapon can actually pry this open. Nope. <laughs> Wish I had long na longer nails and then the this would be a little bit easier. Hmm. Actually. Uh, <laughs> okay, hold that thought. I'll be right back. Actually, no. Actually, no, no, no. Hold on. We're going to use Hotspot's bio card to try and Pry it open without breaking it. Because I don't want to break it. Huh. Mm. <laughs> Alright, come on. You know what? No. Not going to take a chance. I'm going to use blades as blades. Yes, that's redundant. Let's use blades as blades to pop open the hand if we can. Uh, okay, nope, not working. So, hmm. Well, I have no choice. I'll be back, guys. Just give me one moment. I do apologize for the bit of the technical delays. But this is obviously something that is way out of my control, and I cannot. <laughs> it's happened in the past. So, all right, let's try using this screwdriver right here. Come on, screwdriver. Be, be good. No, all right. You know what? That's it. Let's use the scissors here. We'll. Get those open. Nope. Come. These combiner ports are such interesting f figures. You know that. All right. Okay. <laughs> so this is taking longer than expected, but hey, what the hell can you do? So we'll try again, but this time we're going to go from a different approach. Uh, hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Try, try this way. <clears throat> Come on, get up. Hmm. Sorry, I'm gonna do this off camera now because this, I don't know why I was doing it on camera. Come on, you. Okay, well, this is not going well. Hmm, okay, this is not gonna... Let's see here if I can get this open here. Ah, all right. Sorry, every time I almost have it, it just, just doesn't want to go back into the... There we go. Okay, had to fidget around with it, but hey, what can you do? Uh, sorry, that was on camera. Basically, flip up on the hand and then just, again, apologies, I'm <laughs> get the hand situated, rotate it like this, and then just, yeah, uh, no, yeah, there we go. So we got the this hand here, we got the right arm, so that's complete. And now for blades, blades, so, Again, same similar thing, you know, much like with the aerial bots. So I'll take, get the arm thing connected here, and then we'll just again. This has a tab, so um, and hopefully, there we go. Way less time than the than I did with first aid, because for some reason, first aid doesn't have a tab on his little little thing. Okay, so again, we'll flip the flip the blades like this. Yeah, the rotor blades flip them around or yeah 
I, like that's what I like to do. Unpeg them and then just rotate. Yeah, yeah. Split and then spread apart the split apart the or fuselage like this, and then you just you just want, yeah. Almost like going to robot mode, but this time we're gonna go to Lin mode, specifically his arms. So we're just gonna <clears throat> gonna connect this like so, and then just um, and then just leave this leave this piece uh, just rotate it. Rotate these pieces like that, but don't split the arms or the legs, just so it won't uh, it won't cause any any issues, so we say. Um, <clears throat> and then we will get this rotated, and then we'll get that the back section flipped open. Rotate the head around. Get the combiner port like so. Rotate the waist. Um, let's see. No, this is the right way. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I did it the completely the wrong way. So we'll do it to rotate the waist like this. And then, aha, uh -huh, there we go. And then we can, this is what I like to do for the fuselage there, the back fuselage, just to rotate like this. And then get the blades situated like so. Okay, so now that the transformation is complete for that we will now connect uh, the art of the limbs together so we'll do rook first and then obviously we'll do streetwise um, <coughs> which is interesting we'll get him sorted out um, if we can because remember in the metasaur review I think it was it took me forever to get him situated but not this time on Huh. Streetwise, so we'll get the get that situated like so, and then raise the camera up, and then we'll get first aid plopped on, or not. We'll just get him connected like so, and there we go, like so, and then same thing with blades. Let's just get him situated there we go and then get the chest piece folded around like that um, and then for weapons well let's see uh, for for a first aid's weapon we'll just attach it to we'll attach it to rook uh, this little open compa compartment like so and then we'll attach uh, we'll attach um we'll attach hotspots weapons onto onto this arm right here. Um, we'll give him a dual <laughs> little arm cannon like this. We'll set it off to the side here and then we'll give him another another pistol like so. So pretty much both hot of hotspots weapons and then on this arm we'll we'll give him Streetwise's gun. So and then Blades's weapon will probably <laughs> oh okay uh, we'll plug it right onto the Sorry, plug it right onto the back of First Aid's hand, like that. And there you go, there you have Defensor in combined mode. All in all, he looks pretty darn cool. Yes, he stands a little wonky, but that's due to how he's transformed. Hopefully they can get this right with Onslaught, because of course Hotspot's, that's Hotspot's retool and remold is as Onslaught with the Combaticons. And from my understanding, uh, Rook is, I said that in the Rook video that Rook was a retool of Brawl, but I was wrong. He's going to be a retool of Swindle. Brawl is an all new mold, which I've heard so many complaints about. But don't worry, I'll, I'll get Brawl, I'll take a look at him and see how he feels on my side. Articulation wise on defense or his head, ball joint, uh, rotates 360, and the posability is just 360 out to the side, all that stuff. Uh, the face, take a look at it, it is pretty darn cool. I mean, <laughs> it's very Defensor-esque, and oh no, it's, it's pretty darn cool. Um, and I think, if we look on the chest piece, very well detailed, I believe this area where my fingers are is where Groove is going to be uh, plugged into. So, I know it's okay without Groove, but I've heard... I know there's a deluxe group, but he's a Japanese exclusive, so for Takara. But hey, what can you do? 
all in all, will I recommend getting a Defensor? I would say yes. Yes, he looks a little, uh, little bulky, a little hunched over. But what can you do? He's, he's obviously meant to protect and serve. So, <laughs> obviously it was streetwise in there. But all in all, I think Defensor is pretty darn cool. I would highly recommend getting uh, the entire uh, Protective Bots if you can find them. Uh, I mean, Groove is obviously hard to find, obviously, but. If you get them all, I think it's highly recommended. I mean, obviously, Hotspot's legs are a little iffy, but if you can get past it, I would recommend it highly. So, yeah, that's my video review of the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Gisalt Defensor. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video, and yeah. So, take care, see you soon, have a good day, and I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.